Oh. What do you think, stripe or a perch? It's got a wire leader on it. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of iFishLI. In today's video, I'm gonna be targeting some white perch and holdover striped bass. I've never done this before, so I'm really excited. Hopefully we can get on some uh, nice white perch and some little stripers up in here. Uh, I'm gonna be launching the kayak. Um, going to be using small soft plastics like trout magnets, little grubs, little uh, swim paddle tail swim baits, see what's working best. Hopefully you can find a nice school of them because I hear when they school up, it's like every cast you'll be able to get on them. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the kayak in a minute. And then I'll, it's a bit of a paddle to the spot. Then I'll give you guys another update. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. All the gear I'm using will be linked in the description. Let's go get out on the water and hopefully you can slam some fish today. What? Yeah, dead bunker. That's something nice. I'm recording. Is it a big perch or a striper? Oh, yes, let's go. Little striper. Where's the net? Okay. Yo, Dom! Let's go. Okay. He choked it, oh no. Gotta lip him. Come on. There we go. Nice little schooly striper. Hold over. Choke the choke the grub. There we go. Popped right out. Nice little guy. Yo Dom! Solid fish right there. I was not expecting that at all. Grabbed it. All right, let's get a quick release on him.
All right, so I've been really struggling for a little while. No bites, nothing. That was my first bite of the day. A little schoolie striper choked this little grub. Um, looking for white perch, but I'm more than happy with a nice striper like that. Um, gonna just, I guess, stick right here. I was just slow rolling this grub low and he, he grabbed it. So gonna try and keep doing that and see if we get some more. I forgot to take a picture of it. But I have it on GoPro. How small is it? Not that tiny. Smaller than like anything we caught in Rhode Island, but do you want one of these grubs? Do you want one of these grubs? He choked it. It was like I had to, like in his mouth deep. The water's forty two degrees. Really? I thought it was a huge perch at first. You know how to break it? Dude, that fish would be so much fun on that rod you have. I don't think I was even jigging it. I was just really slow. Maybe like very lightly jigging it. What? Dude, I can't hear you. Yeah, maybe the, there's a school here. I kind of want to stay here since. Oh, you you mean okay? Yeah, maybe. I didn't. I don't want to go any further now. I thought like we would be way more likely to catch a ton of perch than a single striper. I'm happy with the striper though. Nothing. Your fish finder sucks. All right, last cast and let's move. Is he? All right, look. Let's see if he starts slamming. I feel like in the spring we get weak fish up in here. I was going like painfully slow when it hit. You were definitely zoned out. I was so zoned out. I thought I was snagged on the bottom and then it started pulling. But I keep, when I go that slow now, I just keep picking stuff up. It was the perfect storm. You oh, don't actually it's fine. Dude, I was alright cast out there. What do you think? Striper or perch? Striper. Yeah. I think so. I'll tell you what I was doing in a second. What? Yeah. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Oh, 
Ha, oh, this one's bigger. And eh, maybe. Same, about the same size. All right. Dude, let it hit the water. Start reeling. Don't let it drop. Start reeling right away. And, but just go, like, painfully slow. Oh, it's got some kick in it. Some pep in his step. You get a picture for me. Some stuff. I gotta get a picture for the gram. Come on, buddy. Come here. I don't wanna lose him. What? There we go. Oh, yeah. Even slower. Looks like a nice popper. got a wire leader on it and one of your clips all right guys that's gonna be it for today's fishing session so I didn't catch any white perch which was mainly the targeted species and the species that I thought I would catch the most of but couldn't find any of them. I think you really just have to find the school of them and then you'll be into them thick but I did catch two holdover stripers which I was more than stoked about because I've never caught a holdover before and it was awesome and most importantly I learned a lot. So I learned you really have to fish super slow in the winter especially fishing for holdover stripers. Like I said in the video, I was fishing like painfully slow, like I was zoned out the first bite I got, I was fishing that slow and then I got the bite. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in any of the gear I was using, I'll just link some stuff down in the description. You guys can check it out. The kayak I was using was the Lifetime Tamarack uh, 10 foot. It, it worked fine for these conditions and um, I'll also link, if you guys didn't see in my last video, I have made some Teespring merch. If you guys are interested in that, I'll put the link down below. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I'm definitely going to be searching for perch a lot more. And probably get on some more holdover stripers in the mix. Um, going to be done with uh, with uh, my semester really soon. So, a ton of, a ton of new content is going to be coming out. Thank you guys so much again.